Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Hey, let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer comes from Hill Farmstead. This is their Abner. Uh, it's an 8 percenter, I think. Yeah, it has 8 percent on there. Beer Advocate has it listed as an 8.2. Mm, maybe a previous version, maybe. Uh, this one, uh, this year's edition is 8 percent. I don't know how often they do it, if they do it multiple times a year, but the one I have here, uh, says 8% uh, and on the bottom of it it says it was canned on 0818 of 2020 and they also underneath that it says drink by 0915 2020 so they're only giving this thing a month shelf life excellent excellent uh, they want you to have it fresh guys uh, that's that's awesome that's awesome uh, Hopefully that will happen. Uh, like I said, I don't know if, if, how far out they distributed from the brewery. Uh, so uh, if you can get their beers, you probably need to pick some of them up. Uh, they make some very tasty stuff, guys. I can't get them here in Virginia. So uh, and this was sent to me by uh, my beer brother Greg, and he writes, uh, This Hill Farmstead's highest rated beer coming in at number 23 on Beer Advocate's top 250 list. And he said he picked it up at the brewery. So I, I don't know if they're brewery only or if they distribute it uh, or not. I don't have that information. Uh, so uh, picking stuff up at the brewery, usually you're going to get pretty fresh stuff usually. Uh, and uh, commercial description, I'm going to go with their advocates on this one. It says Abner was their great, was the great grandfather. And he, 1867 to 1953. Lived a fairly long life for that time period. A lot of people didn't live very long back then. Uh, it says, Hill Farmstead Brewery rests upon the land that was once home to him and his 14 children. Didn't have birth control back then. Yeah. So, uh, in his honor, this double IPA is dutifully crafted from American malted barley, a plethora of American hops, our ale yeast, and water from Abner's Well. It is unfiltered, naturally carbonated, and double dry hot. Aromatic and flowery, bursting with notes of citrus and pine. This is the ale that he dreamed to have shared with Abner. So that's pretty touching. So uh, uh, glad they're on the land and uh, brewing beers uh, that his great grandfather owned. Uh, and it says here pale and caramel malts, dextrose, centennial, chinook, Columbus. Simcoe and Warrior Hops, Ale Yeast, and Our Well Water. So, a lot of hops in this one, so it should be fairly tasty, guys. Uh, and I've had some really tasty beers from this brewery before. So, uh, I'm hoping this is going to be the same. We're going to jump over here to Untapped, and they have basically the same thing listed here, and they also have it listed as an 8.2, and it's an 8 percenter, guys. So, both sites have the ABU wrong. So evidently the last batch or last year or whenever they've done it, once or however many times they've done this beer, uh, it was a little bit bigger in ABV than what this can is right now. So, in the pictures here on uh, Untapped, it does look very cloudy, it looks, looks like a New England style beer. They're not claiming it to be on Untapped or the can. Uh, beer Advocate is claiming it to be a New England style beer. So. Uh, we've got the date, we got the ABV, uh, and I don't see anything else we need to talk about. It's also got what I read to you on the side of the can here. Very nice. A good tribute to their great grandpa. So let's see what Abner brings to the table. Yeah, nice and cloudy coming out. Good looking beer. And all these breweries that are up in, in, in and they're in Vermont. Uh, 
produce these New England style beers very well, usually. So, almost got it all in there. Uh, about a finger and a half of head on that pour. That is a really good looking beer right there. Uh, not the bright orange color, but close enough to me that I consider it a New England style beer. Very hazy, very cloudy, unfiltered, a good looking beer. So, let's get it to the nose. Oh yes, wonderful hop aroma, off the chain hop aroma, oh well, wow. citrusy, piney, grapefruit, pineapple, hints of oranges and peaches and maybe some uh, tropical fruit notes going on in there too, it smells absolutely awesome guys, wonderful aroma, outstanding aroma, well let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, my brother. I do appreciate it, sir. Very smooth for an 8%. That's a tasty beer. That's a very tasty beer. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. If you can get it, you should buy it. Especially if you like this style. If you don't like this style, maybe not. I love this style. I absolutely love it. Y'all know that. Anybody's following from England at the time since these New England style beers come out, they've ruined my palate. I mean, I, I can't get them around here. None of the breweries around here make these beers. And if they do make them, they don't can them or bottle them. Can't get them. Can't get them. So I have to rely on my wonderful subscribers and, and some of the breweries that send me these outstanding beers. This, and this is a pretty damn tasty beer. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. Delicious. And look at the lacing that's already left on the glass. Do the little swirly swirl one more time. Get the back end pour into the glass. I don't think it's going to change anything. I don't see any chunkiness or sediment or anything coming out of the bottom end of the can there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright guys. We're going, to do the, we're going to do the deal, the drill here. We're going to go sip on it for a little while and uh, come back and do the final show and great. What we do. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been on about an hour now. Super tasty, super freaking tasty beer here. Probably one of the best I've had from them, man. It is definitely an outstanding beer to me, guys. Dates on it. They only given it a month shelf life. They're putting the can down date and they the month that they want you to have it in. Uh, ABV's on the can. Uh, even though it's wrong on Beer Advocate and Untapped both, which is unusual for Untapped to have the wrong information, but maybe they have a 2020 edition listed. I didn't try to go and delve into it any further than that. I just typed in Abner and that's what came up. Uh, I didn't see an Abner 2020 in there, so I don't know how often they do this beer, uh, whether they do it multiple times a year or once a year or, or anything like that. I don't know. But it is an outstanding beer. It's a super tasty beer. Uh, another great one, another winner from Hill Farmstead. I don't show, look at the lacing on that glass. That's awesome. It, it usually gives you an indication of how good the beer is. If you get lacing like that on there, that's a good quality beer usually. I don't show. Absolutely freaking delicious. I would absolutely buy this beer. If I could get it here, I would spend my money on it. And if I was up in Vermont, they would know me because I'd be in the parking lot all the time. Have a reserved spot in the parking lot, maybe. I'd be there so often. And they'd know me by my name, I guarantee it. Like, like cheers. Go somewhere where they know your name. Anyway, a lot of wonderful beers coming out of New England. And there are some other breweries around the country and the world that's producing this style very, very damn well. So, uh, super tasty. It's a 10, guys. 100 for me. Over to Bear Advocate, they say 100. We're in agreement for a change. And they actually have a score on this beer for a change. So, and over to Untap, they have it at 4.51. Awesome numbers from those guys, too. It's an A beer. It's an A plus beer to me, guys. So, if you can get this, this is their Abner. Uh, need to pick it up if you like this style of beer. And if you don't, no. Uh, I wish I could get it here. I do. I would buy it. 
regularly or as much as I can get my hands on that I can drink in the first month, two or three. Uh, super tasty. Uh, Greg, you're a lucky, you're a lucky son of a gun to be able to get all these awesome beers uh, within a, a drive from your house. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Because I can't get them here and I, and I appreciate you sending some of these awesome beers to me, sir. So, uh, guys, if you've had this one, this is the 2020 edition, and I told you the date earlier. Uh, and they're only giving it a month shelf life. That's incredible. Most breweries give it three, six, longer. Uh, they want to sell as many beers as they can. Uh, that's what the business that they're in, and I understand that. But you got to realize, this style of beer, the hot spade. And uh, you need to drink it as fresh as you can get your hands on it. And they want you to have it in the first 30 days. Good deal. Two thumbs up on that. Yeah. So if you've had it, let me know what you think. Until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.